Hello there, Father Tom Coyce here again. I want to give a simple way of diving into the topic of heaven and the powerful and most very beautiful thought that doesn't come to our mind naturally, doesn't come to my mind naturally, but it came in deep reflective thought, philosophical thought, but spiritual, theological as well, in reading um, the wonderful book by Peter Kraft, Everything You Wanted to Know About Heaven. In that book, he speaks about the eternal now. And one way to get into that topic came to me just the other day, um, and that is the idea of a time machine. Did you know that the Catholics believe in a time machine, in every church, in most Catholic homes, the ones that uh, take it seriously, there is a time machine. What do I mean? I mean the crucifix, when you think about it. We are called to gaze upon a crucifix, but we are called to think, and we can be moved in the deepest and most beautiful and powerful way to see not just an event that happened 2,000 years ago, but when we gaze on the crucifix and see the living, or shall I say the dying Jesus, <clears throat> we are brought into a timelessness. Time is bent, as it were. We are led to think about the suffering that Jesus endured, as all Christians say, for our sins and as we contemplate our Lord's gift of his life for ourselves we are asked to believe that in Jesus' divine mind in his nature as God commingled with his nature as man he saw and knew and offered his life for all of our sins all those that were to come for all for all the history of the world and all the parts of the world that means when jesus was dying on the cross he was suffering for the sins that you and i would commit two thousand years later you would say well that's ridiculous that's impossible um of course it would be ridiculous impossible impossible if jesus was just a man like you and me but if we really believe that Jesus was God and God allowed himself to die on that cross, then it's not ridiculous, it's logical. For God exists in the eternal now. You see, God doesn't have a yesterday, a today, and tomorrow like, like we do. He, everything in God exists. He is the eternal now, as Peter Kreft so beautifully says. So, Next time you look at a crucifix, realize you're looking at a time machine. And if you look at a crucifix and you don't see this, maybe, um, maybe you need to get a new one or have yours blessed because it really is. God love you. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Unlike Other Nations. I'm Father Tom Coyce.